Hi Hodinki, my name is Abilash, I'm 17 years old, and I live in Doha, Qatar. My watch story is going to be about this watch, the Casio MRW 200H. It is also the only watch I own, and you can tell I'm filming this at 3 in the AM and not the PM because the date is still changing. Sorry, the day is still changing. And I got this watch two years ago when I was in the 10th grade because I had these exams coming up and I needed something to keep the time during those tests. So I asked my dad to just buy me any random watch and this is what he got me. And I must say, in for a sub $30 watch, he was really spot on because not only does it have the time, it has a dated complication, 100 meters of water resistance, and uh, this timing bezel. So it's basically a really uh, low budget diver's watch. And honestly, it it worked amazingly, right? Um, especially this timing bezel, because I would use this uh, during my engineering graphics exams where I had to draw machine parts and so on uh, within a certain time. And this really helped me keep pace so that I would be done with the test in time. So initially, I saw this watch only as basically a tool, right? The design didn't really do anything for me. It just seemed like a Casio. But then when you look into it, um, you see all these sort of minor details, right? Like the sort of uh, angular contours of the bezel and how there's like five or maybe four different fonts on this watch, but yet at the same time, it doesn't feel confused or cluttered. All in all, it just, everything just meshes really well and it looks very strongly like a Casio that will sort of just disappear from your mind of Casios, right? And that sort of design I thought was really thoughtful. It isn't something that could be done easily. So this started my appreciation of watches, even if it was a cheap one. It didn't have to be something expensive or a luxury item to be interesting and filled with all sorts of clever and well-thought design. And that took me to watching videos about watches on YouTube and of course to Houdinki as well. And that got into series such as talking about watches with celebrities and so on. Um, it got me to realize that watches aren't just about what's on the inside, uh, even if what is on the inside is amazing and complicated um, and mechanical works that sort of battle against friction and entropy for ultimate precision. But at the same time, they're also about the stories that people have about them. And that's the case with this watch. It's not that mechanically cool, like a Grand Seiko or a mechanical diver. And it's not really that relevant. It's even in terms of quartz watches, but it's definitely an important watch for me. And I'm really glad that I have it. And hopefully it'll only be the first of my watch collection which will expand after I get a job and earn money. <laughs>